Hello everyone, I am Megan and this is Through the Bookshelf and I am here today with my summer 2017 TBR wrap up. Just to quickly summarize, um, back in the spring I decided that I wanted to direct my reading a little bit and so I set myself a long long list of books to read and the list wasn't intended to be exclusive so I've read a lot of books that weren't on the list. Long story short, I enjoyed doing the list so much that I'm doing another seasonal TBR for the fall. I will try to link that video somewhere in here. Um, or if not, it'll be linked down below. I read a lot of books from a lot of different genres and I now I'm going to talk about them and do a wrap up. I had thought of doing a wrap up part way through which never happened but I think going forward since I've looked at how many books I have to talk about on this list I am going to try to do that whether it's a halfway point wrap up or a monthly wrap up I haven't decided yet but I think it'll just really help save from having to go through so many books and then I might be able to talk about them in a little bit more depth. I didn't do that this time so I'm just going to dive right in. I'm going to start off with the books I read that were on my list. I'm going to talk a little bit about the books I didn't finish. And then I'm going to talk about the books that I read that weren't on the list but were read in addition to the list. So there are a lot of books to get through so let's get right to it. The first book I read was Shift by Kathy Rikes which is a novella in the viral series. And I gave that one a four stars. The second book I read, I can never remember the entire title and the subtitle so I'm going to read it, uh, is by E. E. Lockhart and is The Boyfriend List, 15 Guys, 11 Shrink Appointments, 4 Ceramic Frogs, and me, Ruby Oliver. I listened to this one on an audiobook and I enjoyed it well enough so I gave it a 3 star rating. The third book was Swipe by Kathy Rikes which is another novella in the viral series. This one I enjoyed but it wasn't as good as the first one I read this summer so I gave this one a 3.5. Book number 4 was my first Canadian read of the summer and that was All Are Wrong Today's by Elan Mastai. Um, I I mostly enjoyed this one while I was reading it. There were a few things that I didn't love even along the way. Overall, I liked it well enough and I gave it three stars. I also listened to that one on audiobook. Book number five was a book that I've been putting off reading for a long time and finally got to and that is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I'm really glad that I finally got to reading this book and I gave it four stars. Number six was American Gods by Neil Gaiman and even though there were points of this book along the way that I didn't love and points that I kind of had to force myself to get through, I gave it a 3.5 or 3.75 star. Book number seven is Bras and Broomsticks by, and I apologize for pronouncing this wrong, Sarah Mlinowski. I think I read this one as an audiobook. I enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun, and I gave it 3.5 stars. Book number eight was Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which I enjoyed and I gave a three star rating and I am planning on reading the next book this fall. Book number nine was New Uses for Old Boyfriends by Beth Kendrick. I'm a bit mixed on this one. It wasn't my favorite, but it was a fun read, so I gave this one a 2.75 or a three star rating. Book number 10 was This Case is Gonna Kill Me by Beth Kendrick, which I really, really like the concept of it and I'm intrigued to see where the author goes with the rest of the series. I gave this one a solid three stars. Book number 12 was The Bridge For Me To You by Lisa Schroeder, I think it was. It was an enjoyable summer read and I gave that one three stars. Book number 12 was The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. Um, I initially started reading this one as an ebook and then I switched to audiobook because I was having a really difficult time getting through it. I ended up enjoying the book and I think I'm going to try and read another book by Nina George in the next little while, uh, but it was really difficult I found to get through. I gave this one about a three star rating. Book number 13 was The Menagerie by Tui Sutherland and Carrie Sutherland. I gave this one a 3.5 stars. Book number 14 was The Beast Within, A Tale of Beauty's Prince by Serena Valentino. There were a couple of things that I didn't love about the story and I didn't love about the the twists that the author brought in, but overall I really enjoyed this one, so I gave this one a 3.5 star rating. Book number 15 was also a Beauty and the Beast based book. That was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I gave this one a 3.5 star rating and I am looking forward to reading the second book in the series. Book number 17 was another book I started reading in ebook format and switched to audiobook because I was having a difficult time getting through it. That was The Secret Keeper by Trenton Lee Stewart. I gave that one a 3 star rating. I think I would have liked it more if it hadn't been as long as it was. Book number 17 was Flunked by Jen Kalanita. It was a, I think a middle grade 
fantasy book. I gave it a three star rating. Number 18 was What the Fly Saw by Frankie Y. Bailey. This is a book that I came across on my library's website and I was really excited to read it. I ended up being really disappointed in it and I gave it a 2.75 stars. Book number 19 was Back Towards the Fairy Tale re Retellings and that was Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge. Um, I mostly enjoyed this book, but I, I definitely didn't like it as much as the other book that I had read by Rosamund Hodge, and I found myself, I just, I don't think I loved the characters as much, and I had a harder time getting through it than I did the first one. I gave this one a low three-star rating. Book number 20 is The Long Earth by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. This is a book that I've actually been like 75% of the way through for a very long time. Something happened that made me put it down and I just haven't got back, hadn't got back to reading it. I gave this one about a three to three and a half star rating, um, mostly because it did, it was a book that I put down and picked back up again, but I think that I will enjoy the rest of the series. Okay, so I realized after I got to book 20 that I had missed a couple books part way through. So these ones aren't actually in anything of a reading order but um, I did get through them off the list. Book number 21 is The Cruelest Month by Louise Penny, which was another Canadian book that I read. Um, this one I had mixed feelings about. I listened to it as an audiobook, and there were a few things that I found a little bit confusing, but I think that's because there was some stuff I was missing from the first two books in the series that were really vital to this third book. So I am going to give <clears throat> this author and this mystery series, the Inspector Gamache series, another chance. Um, but for this one, I gave it about a three-star rating. Book number 22 is The Shining Girls by Lauren Bucas. I really apologize for saying that wrong. I'm almost positive that I am saying it wrong. Um, I listened to this as an audiobook. I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I expected to. So overall, I gave it about a three-star rating. There were then three books that were on my list that I started reading and then I did not finish, so I DNF'd them and I'm not going back to read them. The first book in that category was Why Grizzly Bears Should Wear Underpants by Matthew Inman. Book number two in this category was Tales from Abroad by Janine Henvey. Book number 13 was Meeting the English by Kate Clanchy. This book may be really good but it was completely different than what I was expecting it to be and then I just really wasn't interested in that type of book when I actually came to reading it. Um, so I quickly put that one aside. And then, other than those three that I specifically did not finish, there were two books on the list that I just didn't get to. The first book in that section was The Book of Life by Deborah, Deborah Harkness, which is actually the third book in a series, and I started reading that at the beginning of this week, and I probably could have finished it, but I realized really early that I was forgetting a lot that happened in the second book. I thought that I could push through and that it would all kind of come back to me but I got part way through the second chapter and there was just I didn't understand I wasn't feeling the characters so I think to do this one justice I need to reread the first two books so I am still planning on reading this one but I'm gonna read it at a time when I can read the first two books and then jump into this one. The second book on the list of books I didn't get to was S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorst which I just didn't have time for. To sum up um, from my list of 27 books. I finished reading 22 of them. I DNF'd three of them and I didn't get to two, which I think all told is a fairly successful TBR for my first shot. Now, I told you at the beginning that there were books that I read this summer that were not on the list. And as it turns out, there were an awful lot of books. I had a very successful reading summer this year. And part of that is, I'm just gonna say, because I have a about a 40 minute commute to and from work, so I listen to a lot of audiobooks. So, without further ado, I'm going to get to the books that I read that were not on my TBR. First book I read in that series was Tour to Death by High Conrad. I liked the first half and didn't like the second half, and I gave that one 2.5 stars. The second book on that list was Gone Too Far by Natalie D. Richards, which I really enjoyed, and I gave it a four stars. The third book was Adulthood is a Myth by Sarah Anderson, which was a lot of fun, and I gave it a four stars. The fourth book was Writing Down the Bones by Sarah Goldberg, which was a writing book 
as you can well figure out. And I really enjoyed this one and I gave it a 3.5 stars. Book number five was The Bookshop, Bookshop on the Corner by Jenny Colgan. Um, I listened to this one on audiobook and it was a lot of fun and I gave it three stars. The sixth book I listened to on audio while I was on my road trip this summer and that was The Second Star to the Right and I gave that one 3.5 stars. Book number seven is Swipe by Evan Angler which I listened to on audiobook. I gave it a three uh, three stars. Book number eight was Sneak, which is the second book in the series by Evan Angler. Um, I also listened to that on audio and I gave it a three stars. Book number nine was The Feast of All Souls by Simon Bestwick, which is a book that I picked up for book Tubathon in the category of book that you chose just by the cover. Um, this book was completely different than I was expecting. It was a completely different genre than I was expecting. By looking at the cover, I thought it was YA. Um, and when I got into it, it was actually more thriller, suspense, adult fiction, um, which was really good and I did enjoy it. I gave it a 3 to a 3.5 stars. Book number 10 was On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft by Stephen King. I gave that one 3.5 to 4 stars. Book number 11 was A Little Beach Street Bakery, which I actually enjoyed a lot more than I was expecting to. Um, it was also by Jenny Colgan. I gave that one a 4 stars. Book number 12 was When in Doubt, Add Butter by Beth Harbison, which is another book that I listened to as an audiobook. I gave that one three stars. Book number 13 was Unless It Moves the Heart by Roger Rosenblatt, which is another book on writing, and I really did not enjoy it at all. Um, I gave that one a 2.5 stars. Book number 14 was Mars Girls by Mary Terzolo. I have posted a review of this one on my blog if you want to check that one out. I gave that one a two star rate. Book number 15 was Frogs and French Kisses by Sarah Mlinowski, which was the second book in the series that I started earlier in the summer. This one was also a lot of fun and I gave it three stars. I also listened to that one on audiobook. Book number 16 was Fierce Kingdom by Jin Phillips. I read this one in an evening and I have posted a review of this one also on my blog and I gave that one about a 3.5 stars. Book number 17 was Edinburgh Twilight by Carol Lawrence, which I have also reviewed. Um, this is one that I was actually pleasantly surprised by. I loved it and I cannot wait for the next book in the series. Book number 18 was As the Chimney Sweeps by Alan Bradley. I had a lot of fun with this book. I listened to it as an audiobook and I gave it a 3.5 stars. Book number 19 was another book that I received for review and that was Body on Baker Street by Vicki Delaney. Um, I think that review should be up by the time this video is, so you can go check it out below. Book number 20 I just finished reading today, and that is These Shallow Graves by Jennifer Donnelly. I listened to that one, this one as an audiobook, um, and I loved this book. I'm really hoping that she will put out another book in this series because it was a lot of fun. I really like the characters, and I'd really like to see where they go. I gave this one a four stars, possibly inching up into the 4.5. Book number 21 was A Holiday Murder by Leslie Meyer, which is actually a collection of two previously released books um, in a mystery series that are both kind of Christmas based. I did receive this one from NetGalley to review, which is why I'm reading Christmas books in September, but um, I will post my review below. I really, really was disappointed in these books. I had a lot of hopes for them and there were more things I didn't like about them than there were that I liked about them. I gave them a two star rating. Book number 22 is another Christmas mystery and actually one that I was pleasantly surprised with and this one was Death by Eggnog by Alex Erickson. It's the fifth book in a mystery series and I immediately went to my library to see if I could get the first book because I really enjoyed it. Wow! I, as I expected, that was a lot of books to get through. Um, this, if you have stuck with me this far, thank you. Um, I'm sorry the video is so long as I can only imagine it will be. I am going to split it up for the next one so that I don't have anything quite this crazy again. To sum up, the grand total of books that I finished reading was 44. I am pretty sure that is more books than I read from January to the end of May. I cannot believe how many books I managed to read this summer. I know that I am not going to be able to read probably nearly that many this fall or going forward, but I was in a really crazy reading place before this and I'm really happy with how this TBR panned out. So it turns out that my camera did not want to wait around to hear my outro, which is why there is now a cat here and I apologize if the 
perspective has changed at all. Um, thank you again for sticking through to the end of this wrap up. I know it was long. I will try to shorten it. Let me know down in the comments how many books you read this summer. Did you read as many books as you were expecting? Did you like read me read way more books than you were expecting? If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you would like to follow along with more of my adventures through the bookshelf. And I will see you next time. Happy reading!